At just over four and a half billion years old, it's safe to say that planet Earth is pretty darn old. Being this old means that a lot of history has unsurprisingly taken place. Planet Earth has given us dinosaurs, the internet, and Twinkies. Unfortunately, not at the same time. Another thing that cropped up on this planet is us, the human race. And if you didn't guess by now, we didn't just sit around twiddling our lovely opposable thumbs. We got a lot of stuff done. If there's anything us humans love more than raging war or making memes, it's putting things into sections, periods, eras. We we do this with so many things and of course we do it with our own history and our own planet. I'm sure you've heard of things like the Jurassic period and the Renaissance period, but that was all in the past. What about now? While right now watching this video might just seem like another instance of us going through time by next year, next month, next week, by even tomorrow, this will just be another instance of history. So what should we call this instance in time and history? And by this instance in time I mean August 2018. Hello if you're watching this from the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button or sacrifice your firstborn, whatever YouTube is doing in the future to make you watch these videos. The answer to this question of what this period of time is called kind of varies depending on who you're asking. We humans track the history of our planet in a variety of ways. One of the most popular ways that we keep track of time and categorise it is on the geological time scale. This is the time scale used by geologists to categorise the entire history of planet Earth. This time scale isn't broken into specific sets of time like every 1 million years or anything, but rather broken into major events in Earth's history like mass extinctions. Research for the geological time scale is usually carried out by digging into the Earth and examining rocks. Very boring stuff. Only joking geologists, you rock- no, no I'm not going to say it. It's from this geological time scale we get things like the Jurassic period and the Cretaceous period. Though to just say the GTS is just a period of time followed by another period of time doesn't do it complete justice. In fact, a period on the GTS is just one small category of the whole thing. The GTS is broken up into different smaller intervals of time. In real layman terms, there's a real big amount of time that goes up to now, and in there there's a smaller amount of time, followed by a smaller amount of time, Time, followed by a smaller amount of time, followed by a smaller amount of time. From biggest to smallest intervals, they are called eons, eras, periods, epochs, and ages. So what are the eon, era, period, epoch, and age we're in right now called? Well, luckily enough, as it was only recently, well, recently in regards to this video, that expert geologists officially declare that we are living in a new age of Earth's history. Well, it wasn't so much we suddenly fell into a new age, but we've actually been living in it for the last 4,200 years. We only just noticed. This new age that is currently happening is called the Meghalaya Age. With the discovery of this freshly named age means that the time in the GTS we are currently living in, from our current eon to our current period, is the Phanozoic Eon, the Cenozoic Era, the Quaternary Period, the Holocene Epoch, and the Megalaran Age. Or are we? Well, recently some experts have been claiming that we are no longer in the Holocene Epoch and that we have entered the Anthropocene Epoch. This is due to the huge impact that humans have had on this planet, hence why the name of this hypothesized epoch contains Anthropo, meaning relating to humans. However, the term hasn't been accepted by any official body, so for now we are still in the Holocene Epoch. These are what the intervals of the GTS we are currently living in are called. But where exactly did these names come from? Well, names for parts of the GTS come from all different kinds of sources. A lot of the time they are named after where the rocks came from where they were first studied. Take the famous Jurassic period, named after the Jura Mountains where the first Jurassic rocks were studied. Or the Devonian period, named after the English county of Devon. A lot of the time we also use Greek and Latin terms, as fancy scientists do so often with this kind of thing. Take the name of the earliest eon we know, the Hadean eon, coming from the Greek words for unseen and hellish, because the earth then would have looked rather hellish. So what about the names of the eon, era, period, epoch and age we are living in right now? Well it seems to mostly come from Greek and Latin. The name of our eon, the Phanerozoic eon, comes from Greek meaning visible life, as the life created in this eon can still be seen today around us. The name of our era, the Cenozoic era, comes from Greek meaning new life, as the life seen in this era was new and fresh compared to what came before it. Our our period, the Quaternary period, comes from Latin word for four, as when this period was named, the GTS was split into four sections. While it isn't anymore, this name carries on. The name of our epoch, the Holocene epoch, comes from Greek meaning entirely new, as it's the newest epoch. And the name of our age, the Meghalayan age, is named after the Meghalayan state of India, where evidence of this age was first discovered. Anyway.
Anyway, that's more than enough talk about the GTS, as there are other ways of looking at what we should call today. Perhaps not from a geologist's perspective, but from a historian's perspective. Well, this era of history is quite simply and boringly known as modern slash contemporary history. Luckily, we do have other names we use for today. One name I love for today is the Information Age. How at previous times in human history were named after things like the Stone Age and the Iron Age, as they were of extreme value to those people. I love how the Information Age implies what is most valuable to us is our information how we've stored it and how we use it. And of course there are specific names for this time in history in specific parts of the world. Here in Blythe some consider that we're currently living in the second Elizabethan era due to our current monarch being Queen Elizabeth II. Japan are currently in their Heisei period due to their Emperor Akito. Though what's interesting is that we seem to have an idea of when this era will end as Akito is planned to abdicate from the Japanese throne in 2019, in turn ending his era of Japanese society. And of course there are some very unique ways that we can name this current time in history. Disney fans call their current era of animated movies the revival era. The console wars is currently in its 8th generation of machines with the Xbox One, PS4 and Nintendo Switch duking it out. And if you're a big wrestling nerd like me, WWE are currently in what they call the new era. A far cry from my childhood attitude era. How on earth did I end up talking about wrestling? Anyway, these are just some of the names for today. Who knows how this time in earth's history will be looked back on. What would you call now? A huge thank you to all my patrons who on a monthly basis make Name Explain possible. Just $1 a month gets you access to the patron exclusive Name Explain newsletter, which features sneak peeks at upcoming videos, a weekly Q&A, a personal blog about my day-to-day -day adventures, and even a weekly etymological word jumble quiz. $2 a month gets you all this plus your name at the end of the video. So what are you waiting for? Support Name Explain on Patreon for the full Name Explain experience. Thank you.